Hi there gear fans, my name is Dan and you're watching GearWire. On this video we're going to be taking a look how to uh, quantize audio. Now in a previous video um, we were using uh, stereo miking techniques using the Shure SM81s um, to record a uh, grand piano or baby grand pa piano. And um, now I'm not the best pianist so uh, I was a little fast and loose with the tempo and to uh, help us out uh, to sort of illustrate that, I'm going to turn on our, our metronome for playback. And uh, let's take a listen to the sample. This is our ORTF or quasi-ORTF uh, sample. Let's give that a listen. So yeah, definitely not not perfect uh, tight uh, tempo there. So uh, one thing that I like to do when uh, working with Audio Snap because uh, it can get a little complex uh, dealing with undos because I like to mix down a lot because the online um, the online processing not perfect. I do a control drag just to make another um, copy of the uh, of the audio track and then archive our original so it's not taking up any of our CPU. Alright, so here we have, we'll call this our work track. And um, so let's take a listen again. As you can hear, it's, it's an exact replica. So anyway, let's get working with Audio Snap. And the uh, button up here, I have it cut into my custom menu that will uh, enable Audio Snap, but I just use the F12 button. And as you can see, audio snap comes right up. So I'm going to zoom in just a tiny bit and have a listen to our track. See, it's already trying to do some quantization. As you can hear, it's not perfect. Let's check the quantize settings on here. So it's trying to do it to the 16th. And now, if you listen back to our our sample it's like dung, 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 dung. so it's really only the eighth that we're concerned with we don't want any swing or anything like that we just want straight quantization so I'm gonna choose eighth and see if that helps at all so yeah definitely not perfect uh, one thing we can do is if we check the preferences of audio snap um, we see this default stretch algorithm section. And um, here's our online setting. As you can see, we have it set to groove clip. Um, that's a type of stretching native to sonar, native to cakewalk. Um, this is a, a new one that was introduced with Audio Snap Percussion. Let's try that and see how it does. So definitely not as good. So let's go back to our groove, ki groove clip looping. And um, so, as you heard, the even the groove clip, lo clip looping wasn't very good. So, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a render of our um, track. So, it'll use the offline rendering. And in uh, Sonar 6 PE, you get the isotope radius mix. Um, well, let's look at the other options, too. We see same as online. Definitely don't want that. Um, we got the radius solo which is just for single note instruments, solo bass, so for lower instruments, solo vocal, which is specialized for vocal tracks. I am going to keep this on radius mix. Now, radius mix is the most complex algorithm, so it does take the longest uh, to do um, rendering of. Um, so actually, I've already done that with the settings as they are. And let's take, I'm going to bring that one up. That's this particular track. And let's give this one a listen. So this is the render of that exact track with those exact audio snap settings. Let's give that a listen. So that's not perfect, of course, um, but we're getting closer. So what I'm going to go ahead and do is go back to our uh, work track and um, 
well, all I did there was do F12 twice to turn the audio snap off and then turn it on and it brings up this window. So this little quick way I do it. And what I'm going to do is change our sensitivity threshold. And now what I'm looking for is on these tracks, you, you can see, I'm going to zoom in even further. You can see that the pulses that I'm playing at are like dun, 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 dun. And all these all these markers in between, that's what's screwing us up here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna raise the threshold. So this will eliminate the lower triggers of audio snap and I and we'll start to see some of them disappear. That looks pretty good. And that's at 87%. And it says here, markers relating to stretch audio have been detected, uh, blah, 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 blah. Do you want to preserve the stretch markers? No, I don't. So I click no. And let's give a quick listen to our online, uh, just to see how it's going. Now again, it's not perfect, but if you listen back in the video to how it was before, it's, it's better than it was. So again, what I want to do is make sure that our offline rendering is set to isotope radius, radius mix. And now what I'm going to do is just do another render. Of course, through the magic of video, I've already done that. And that's this track. I'm just using the track manager, which is a quick key M. So here's our rendered track with the new settings of audio snap. So as you can hear, there's no more weird phasing going on. Um, at, at least it's minimum. Um, and within a mix, this this uh, track would sound pretty good. I have to say, there's a little bit of loss, and that's what we get for not playing it perfect in the first place. But this does take a performance that was not perfect and makes it pretty close. Well, at least rhythmically, rhythmically was not perfect because it sounded damn good. <laughs> but um. It took something that wasn't rhythmically perfect and made it pretty much rhythmically perfect. So thanks for checking out the video and stay tuned for more.